notification and subscribe, so um is it which one is it it's not the gangbang one that's the latest yeah that's yeah nothing else has popped up no it should be live oh, stream notification come up there yeah yeah but it uh it said something about second anniversary ah fuck is that or, yeah Amergan's... right I'll, I'll change that afterwards fuck's sake i never changed the details on it Anyway, I, I, I better I better ease up on the cur on on the cursing. <laughs> oh, shit. Your channel, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Ah, well, that's true too. Like, you know, and and to be honest with you, tonight's stream is really be before I go to bed. Um, I, I wanted to stream this mobile real since I got Blue Stacks work back up and working. There was a couple of games I played in Blue Stacks, you know, in the past, like just messing around with them, you know. Uh, obviously, Star Trek Fleet Command was the one I downloaded BlueStacks for, but you know, once you have that option, save space on the phone, you can tinker about with different games. I tried my hand a few times at doing, you know, like fucking um, reviews on mobile games and all that shit. I just I wasn't feeling it, you know. Um, so uh, Mobile Real was one that I played. I know a couple of people played it. Kind of got into a guild in it. Hung out with a couple of people. And when Blue Stacks started acting the bollocks on me and my PC was acting the bollocks, I just I didn't need Blue Stacks because I had my phone, so I just done my stuff on Star Trek Fleet Command on my phone, you know. So and anything then on my console or my PC, I could stream that there without Blue Stacks. So I didn't really give a fuck about it, right? Um, but I got Blue Stacks up and running there recently, really because of that Star Trek Fleet Command, um, that old uh, what, what do you call it, the uh, second builder thing, um. Bought the second builder and started hearing like that there was some sort of an issue with like uh, if you've got it on two devices or you've got it on blue stacks and your phone or whatever that uh, it can be causing issues. You know, clearing your cache, it's not going to show all of this kind of carry on. I don't know if you guys heard about any of that. Um, so I, I, I had to go and go through the whole thing, fucking clearing out the clearing up the PC, downloading blue stacks again, reinstalling it, all that shit. So while I was here, I said, right, fuck it, I'll, I'll check in with Mobile Real, see how Mobile Real's going. And I'd done a couple of videos on Mobile Real with Pep a while back. Uh, Pep's a girl, you know, Irish girl that I know when she plays it. And um, back in the day, like, my whole gaming experience with Mobile Real was really just to act the bollocks, right? I wasn't trying to advance. I wasn't trying to, you know, I wasn't certainly wasn't buying any packs or doing anything. Like it's another free to play. Well, it's not free to play. It's, it's I I go free to play. It's freemium game. Like it's pay to win. Like pay to progress. You know, um, and uh, the guild that I was in was a couple of American guys, a couple of Europeans. Um, but there's a lot of like uh, Oriental people and and you know Eastern people in it and stuff. And the interesting thing about it is you can jump around on uh, on the servers, right? It's very easy. The game servers are the game worlds, and you can jump from game world to game world through your alliance uh, or your guild kind of uh, coins or whatever it is you accrue. Um, you can transfer to another world after a period of time, you know. So what a lot of these guilds do is when, when they lose their grip on power or they're merging with another guild or they're doing whatever it is... Uh, They'll jump to a different world, try to take over that kingdom in a different world. Um, and there's all these kind of competitive elements to it where you take over forts and you take over different things to give you different boosts, right? Um, and I suppose it was about 18 months ago, maybe, um, give or take. I'm just I'm going to try and bring this up on the phone. If one of you guys is watching that stream as well, will you just let me know if the audio is coming out okay? Um um, yeah, the audio, yeah, the audio is fine. I, I had to, I had to tune out either uh, Discord or or YouTube. Right, and we second. We shout out to Mike. Mike's one of the guys that regularly uh, used to appear. I haven't streamed in a while either. Like, so Mike Richardson, he's one of the guys that uh, would appear in some of the streams every so often. So we shout out to Mike. He's he's watching at the minute. Um, so I'm back to Mobile Real for a bit of a mess about. But I found, 
you know, I, I found it to be a lot more toxic now than when I was there. You know, all you guys know as well as anybody that you go into a certain game world, certain game uh, server or whatever it is, some will be a little bit more toxic than the other. Some games will be a little bit more than... You know, and I'm careful about the word toxic because I know it's used by all these fucking social justice warriors to claim like, oh, you sneezed when you were in my company and you're a toxic person, you know, and all that kind of bullshit that we've covered before tech when we're dealing with ultra-sensitive people, right? Um, and and we've seen that on the Star Trek Discord and different places that we've been on, like, you know, where, like, words like toxic has been hijacked by people who have a wee bit of a fucking... a, a, a drum to bang about their sensitivities or some shit, like, right? Um, but, so I don't use that word lightly when I say this, like, right? Now, I have been... I, I'll hold my hands up, I'll be honest, like, I have been kind of trying to troll this guy a little bit into... trying to bait him a little bit into uh, shit-talking with me, right? Um, and I was hoping that he would come out with... He hasn't been too bad, to be fair, like, right? But the, what, what kind of triggered me a little bit was I was in this guild... Um, Forsaken Knights, they were called. And a lot of shit seemed... I still don't know the full story, but a lot of shit has went down, right? So uh, there was guys there who were running the guild that uh, when I left then, they had fallen out with each other and some of them have merged now with this other guild and all of these other th th things have happened that I wasn't a part of. But th the vibe that I'm getting now compared to back then... Um, is very, very different. So, Corantis, I want to mention Corantis. Now, if Corantis fell out with people, people are saying he Corantis got nasty and he fucked things up. I've been trying to get a hold of Corantis because originally I wanted to do a stream with Corantis, and I might yet, right? Um, but Corantis is one of these guys. He's in my Discord, just he's gone very quiet. I think he's quit because of all the bullshit, right? Um, and people are saying Corantis fucked up the guild and it fu they fuck, fuck things up and all of this here and if any of the mobile royale guys end up typing uh, happen to be watching here i'd love to hear the, the, their perspective on it if that's the case but the the idea was hook up at some of the original guys see what the crack is right in particular pep and one of the last times that i was doing videos on this and um, i was uh, slagging pep a little bit about and, and um uh, hanging out with a certain player uh, you might see some of that in my discord and uh, and attacking some of the more powerful guild. Like, I'm a weak-ass player, like, right? Um, but I go around just kind of annoying them, being a bit fearless, not giving a fuck, like, right? And I used to have a lot of crack, and they, the Forsaken Knights kind of took me in and supported me and enjoyed letting me have a bit of crack. So one of the times when, uh, when I'd left the game before for a period of time and I came back, one of the first things I'd done upon my return was to go straight away and attack my old guild. Right, um, and so I started attacking their bases and setting their bases on fire, um, and and we done a wee bit of content out of that, you know. Um, but they were lighthearted enough; they had the crack, you know. They found it funny, whatever it is, and then I rejoined the guild and everything was back to normal, right? Um, this time around, I've tried to hook up with the guys again in the guild that they're in, and they've merged with whoever they've merged with, and all this kind of stuff. And I repl I applied to join them, and they rejected me. And there's one player here in particular in the last, like, three days, right? Um, in the last three days that I've been playing this, he's been repeatedly at attacking me, right? So I sent him a wee bit of a message earlier on. He's called Realize. Um, I sent him a wee bit of a me message a wee while ago, and... Uh, I, I said, is this how you treat old friends? Like, is this as... You know, is this, is this how you, I, I might make a YouTube video on this because you're not be very nice, like, you know. And he, he kind of started telling me shit, like, you don't know how to play this game, so I'm going to flick through some of this, like, um, I, I'll not go back through it all. See there, his slag, you can't play games, is a, you can't play games is a bit poor. Uh, what it tells me is you don't have, you can't do a banter in, in a message, right? So I'll flick through some of these here. And you can see th what these guys have got here is an auto-translate function, something that Scopely could learn a lot about. Um, is all I need to do is click a button and straight away auto translate. So the guy is from he's China, China, Ch China, that, China, obviously. That Chinese. Now, I don't know if he's a kid or if he's an adult. Right, so I was trying to get him going and uh, he wasn't giving me too much. Emergen? Yeah. You're, you're cutting out, bro. I'm cutting out in the voice, yeah? Yeah. 
Because I I was I was listening and then you just went blank. Right, well hopefully Discord doesn't start acting the bollocks on me, so apologies to anybody if I cut out on the stream or any of that kind of shit, because uh, Discord was acting the bollocks before we started off. Um, they tell me I can't play a game, so I've been playing this wee game with him, trying to get him, to, trying to bait him a wee bit, but... Now, he's going on about uh, mor uh, mor moral blackmail, right? So I asked him about, what what's moral blackmail? I, oh, and, and I don't and I, and I don't and I don't know what type of game Mobile Royale is, right? Little does he know, but anyway, right? Now he asked me for the URL, but I don't want to actually go into my uh, stream and and fucking get the link and send it to him in this chat. I'd I'd love to get him into the fucking stream if we could ha if we could do it, but the way I've got the stream set up, it's a screen capture, so I'm not going to do that. But we'll have a wee bit of crack with him here, see if he's still online. Yeah, so when I ask him about the moral blackmail, um, he told me to go and find somebody who understands Chinese. You hardly know Chinese tech, do you? I <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't. I don't know what moral blackmail means. I'm not. I think it's because I told him that uh, I might actually do a video on this, and then I told him that I might stream it. So I think he might. He might be referring to that. Um, now some of these messages I haven't read. Uh, he told me I was bad. I, I asked him who. Uh, this game is just as bad as you. <laughs> who, who told you that I'm bad? Uh, your your attempts to slag me off are really bad, though. Um, awful. Okay, I think this is the last. Go and find a translator. I think, uh, uh, I think that moral blackmail. That's like a public shaming him. All right. Well, I, I have no problem with public shaming. I was kicked out of a few discords over the the, the video that I done about uh, Elkars for public shaming. A couple of people. Now, in fairness to a couple of the lads like DJ and all, they um they said they didn't want to be seen as censoring people and stuff like that. There, so there was a few of them there. It was actually like, no, listen, you 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 know, we're not going to censor you. Work away. Just don't be a troll about it or whatever. Like, um, so I kind of I fully get that, but some people do want to censor them kind of videos. But I have no problem. Like, that's what my platform's for. I've always said it. If somebody's going to act the bollocks, somebody's going to be cheating, somebody's going to be doing something that they shouldn't be doing. It's a bit distasteful yeah. or whatever. I'll call. I'll call it. I'm big enough. If somebody wants to call me on shit, I'm big enough to take that. Do want to go out and do it publicly? Sure, that's content. I have no problem going live and debating somebody on YouTube live or any of that kind of shit. It's all. It's all a bit of crack. Um. So this guy should have thought about that when uh, when he started to attack somebody who's uh, friends with a lot of his guild members and stuff like that and before his guild rejected me and and then started attacking me. Um, Your IQ I, is hard to understand how to play this game. Uh, I, I love Chinglish translations. <laughs> Part of my real life job is 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 uh, doing a lot of work with various pieces of equipment, and some of the pieces of equipment are are used and whatnot, and so they're made they're all made in China, the majority mm. of them, because they're cheap, right? They're inexpensive, and so I get these manuals that have been translated like like this. And you're reading and you're like, what? Did these yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can fairness like some of it. We let we let them away with some of it's being lost in translation, but. The, the sentiment behind, like, there's three messages in a row from him. Uh, I suggest you not to play games. Your IQ is hard to understand, right? So he's obviously slating my IQ there, like, right? So he's putting my mental capacity down. Um, and then another message straight away without a reply saying, remember to go to YouTube, uh, let everyone see how stupid I look, um, stop chatting with you, okay. Um, and unfortunately, you don't have a brain. You don't even know how to play the game. You know, like he sounds like a, a kid, to be honest with you. That sounds like really harmless, childish kind of slagging, you know. Um, we've seen some pretty toxic kind of stuff in, in in Star Trek Fleet Command and other games there where it gets a lot nastier than that. But this guy's flat out. And, and, and like, you can see there, like anybody, like I created my own alliance called GIMP. You know, uh, anybody with half a brain knows like what that that self-deprecating humor. You know, um, 
slagging me off for being a gimp when I've created my own alliance called Gimp really isn't going to get me. Like, you know, <laughs> you know um, but this guy, the reason I've, I've kind of picked out this guy is because he's the one, nobody else has been attacking me. Like, hey, you know, I, I'm like one or two has, like, I mean, like this guy over here, this uh, Roken guy, dead tit. Um, you know, I have to give him a wee bit of kudos for calling himself dead tit. Like, um, he attacked me maybe once. Grand. This other guy has repeatedly attacked me, you know. Um, so, I thought I'd give him a wee bit of coverage. I'll send him the link maybe afterwards to the stream and he can watch it. Um, I don't know if he'll get, if he'll get it. You know, if, it's, if it needs to be translated, I don't know if he'll fully get it, but... But there you are. This this can be in terms of the mechanics of this game. This there can be some things in this that uh, the likes of Scopely could learn from. They're pretty good when it comes to certain things that are in it. Um, but to be fair, lads, I I've come back to this game and uh, I've been away from it maybe for a year, and I've come back and the attitudes from people are so so different from when I was here before. Like there are still some cool people about. Like I'm sure you know, but uh, some of the attitudes are awful. Like. Um, so that's it. This, 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 do you this. believe? Let me ask you something. Do you believe that it's it's a typical nature of every game, where after the honeymoon phase has worn off of the novelty, everybody just comes in uh, behind the anonymity of a keyboard and just throws you know toxicity around like it's no tomorrow. It could yeah. be. It could be something like that. Um, I'm not actually sure. Like this game could be older than Star Trek Fleet Command, for example. Um, so when I oh, I remember you playing this before I started getting into the Star Star. Uh, yeah, you know. So uh, like, it's possible that um, it's possible that this game was at a more advanced stage, more mature when I started playing it than Star Trek Fleet Command would be now, for example. Um, But it's, it's like any of these games, it's the crew you hang out with, you know? It's the people that you're hanging out with that make it, you know? Like, I have no love for this game. I actually have no big love for Star Trek Fleet Command as a game. There's a, there's a thousand games like it. It's the guys you hang out with, you know? You, all you guys know my story when it comes to having tested Star Trek Fleet Command before went to the global launch and all that there, and the, and, and the crew that I hang out with are a bunch of Irish lads that have been around the block with fucking ages of having fallen in with them and the fallen out with them and all that history like you know uh, so that's that that's what'll keep me there i know pep and uh, you know one or two other guys here to be fair when i messaged them like what i wanted to do when i came back to this game is i wanted to go and attack pep that's what i might actually go and do that now i might go uh, she probably has her shields up like um i have her bookmark there as you can see um so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to land in here, I think, and I'm going to start attacking this guy's guild. I do, I've done this before. This has been my MO, if you like, right? Uh, to go in and um, just ba smash pixels. Like, you know, just like there's no tomorrow. The, the equivalent, I suppose, in Star Trek Fleet Command terms of taking your uh, taking your realtors and going and attacking all the big bases, you know you know what I mean? Like... Um, I don't think an auto shield comes up though. Um, now, what I need to do is I need to cre create some troops. So, and I lose these troops. And I, like, I suppose I'm given power destroyed to the person that I'm fighting against. But you know, that's that can be the wee payoff for them for me being a nuisance. You know, um, let me see. There's some troops there I can heal probably. Is this a you know, I, I don't play the game, so is this more of a, a free-to-play game? Like, can you grind it out, or is it very much Fleet Command-esque where y you got to pay? Um, I would say, I'll go in, I'll show you some of the packs now in a wee second. Um, I would say it's probably friendlier on the pocket than Fleet Command. Well, Fleet Command is the most expensive mobile game in the history of mobile games. <laughs> I mean, so like comparing anything to Fleet Command is right. Fair point. You know. Yeah, fair point. Um, I think that's probably why Fleet Command doesn't really develop the toxicity anymore. Maybe on the newer servers, but once people advance in Fleet Command, you're only going to advance with the people that are you you know with the pocketbooks, right? So either majority of the pocketbooks 
are dicks that still play the game or they're usually not and for the most part they're not whereas other games if they're more free to play you can get a whole new wave of individuals that are toxic and, and yeah, just... yeah 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 now Pep has dropped her shield it's it's very possible she's watching and she's done this deliberately for me um Maybe she, maybe she's just maybe she's learned how to play this game now. Finally, like she was always a bit shy, you know. She she was a sort of player. She didn't like to fight, you know. Like these games are based on fucking attacking people and being attacked and all of that kind of stuff. Like you know, um, you get your you get on the leaderboard for power destroyed and for all of that kind of stuff. Um, and she was always a bit hesitant in that. I think she's learned how to play this now. Um, and I think she realizes like that uh, power destroyed is actually something that. I suppose sorts out the men from the boys to some degree. Yeah. She, she's also queen There's of the k- so kingdom, many menus. right? So this guild are pretty powerful, and uh, she's been awarded queen of the kingdom. Now she said some bullshit to me, like you know, she said when I applied to join this guild, they rejected me, right? And I have a lot of ex friends in this guild, right? And uh, they rejected me. Now you don't get made queen of the kingdom by one of the most powerful guilds, if not the most powerful guild that owns the fucking kingdom, basically. You don't get made queen unless you have some sort of influence in the fucking guilds, like. So I don't buy that for one second, like. Um. Now let me see. Oh. Troll by here, I recognise troll by. Oh, there's a there's a Taiwan number one guy there as well. I'll attack him now. All these fuckers could come at me now in a couple of minutes, like. Yeah. So the one troop, I, I'm getting a wee bit of lag here, but the one troop is, um, he's FO, I leave FO alone, they haven't been annoying me. They're, I think they might be allied with this Taiwan number one. So they might turn on me anyway. <laughs> uh, let me see, is there any other type? Man, this this game is so busy with all the menus. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking menus in it, and when I when I kind of get done here, oh, there's Icy Queen. I, I recognize that name. I wonder was Icy Queen in TW with us before. Um, and I'll show you some of the packs and all that there in a few minutes. Tech and make um. Yeah, and I'm getting a wee bit of fucking lag, so that's not bloody helping. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There's Realize. Fuck, I'm going to jump up here beside this prick. Still, so you still were able like to around while you got the armies going around? Or? No, I can't teleport there. Um, you can teleport, I think, when there's an incoming army, but the attack will go through immediately. Um, you'll, so it'll auto-resolve the attack. It's not advisable. Um, but I suppose if you're going to take the hit and you want to get out of there quick, and you want to save your resources and shit like that there, you can probably do it, you know, but... Um, one of the things that they do have in this, see this, you see the ticker tape thing kind of going over uh, along the top. Yeah. Yeah. One of the, they have announcements for the server coming up like that, right? Um, and one of the things I found in, uh, interesting, and uh, and I suggested this uh, for the Borg content, for example. See these uh, these monsters here you can attack, right? Like your decayed yeah. dragon here, for example. Um, what they will do is they'll they'll pop up a special type of monster every so often. I uh, don't know if it's during a campaign or what the story so is. they could do that with Armada. So they could do that with Armada. Yeah, well, basically, Armada. like, you, you can fight over these monsters. If you see a monster and you want to attack him or whatever, if somebody, you, if somebody can snipe you on this. So you could be fighting a strong one of these monsters, taking them down, taking them down, and somebody could come in and take the last hit in them and snipe him on you. It's generally frowned upon, but it can happen, right? Um, but they put in these ultra strong monsters where every fucker on the server can just go in and launch at them. And you see, and there's loads of these wee arrows going into this one monster's PVE, and it just loads of them's going in on them, you know. And um, 
And the person that gets the kill and hit is the person that they they get an extra bonus or some shit. Yeah. But everybody that helped kill it gets something. Everybody, you'll get something. You'll get experience points. You'll get all sorts of shit. Right, so let's say... Let's harass this guy a wee bit. <laughs> Spam his inbox with um, attack messages. Now, what'll happen is he'll probably attack me back now in a wee second, right? And you'll see what happens to your screen. Your screen will just start... You know the way when you're basically getting attacked, it'll start flashing a wee bit? Like, you'll get a red kind of ring around and it'll start flashing and shit like that there. Um... It's even more annoying on this screen when it, when it happens in this game. Oh, there's smoke. I must co- say, I like your. I must say, I like your lion's name, Gimp. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the whole idea, Tech. The whole idea was like when I joined this game, I was in with a lot of stronger players, and it was like, right, unless I'm going to spend money or spend an awful lot of time at this. And I suppose this answer is part of what you were asking earlier as well is, can you free to play this? You can free to play this, but it's like any of these games, you need to put in a shift, you know? You need to be logging in daily, you need to be doing the daily campaigns, you need to be doing all of that kind of stuff, and you can advance at a relatively decent rate. Um, I advanced at a reasonably decent rate when I was putting in a little bit of time into it, and I could have advanced faster, to be honest with you. The equivalent of your Latinum is these... uh, Jewels, crystals. We've got a nice wee mechanic in it that um, allows you to invest them. Now there, you'll note that there is a, there was always supposed to be a bank plan for Star Trek Fleet Command, for example, where uh, you can invest presumably your latinum and stuff like that. Level fifty is a bit of a high level to be asking people to wait till they get to that to do it but in this game you get to a a reasonably low level like and you can start investing your crystals and after like a day two days a week a month whatever it is you'll get a return on your investment so you won't be able to use that no question is your premium resource is that protected yes so the crystals are protected similar to the latinum or whatever Okay, and they don't have no plans to take that away, right? Because I've played games where, you know, that... In this game or in Star Trek Fleet Command? In this game. I don't don't actually keep up the speed on the news in this game, to be honest with you, Mike. Um, I did hear a a really good suggestion. Well, um, whether it's a good suggestion or not, I suppose it's debatable. But one of the guys, I think it was... um, can't remember. I'll not say just in case I get it wrong. One of the lads in uh, in home suggested recently in terms of uh, an interest and certainly officer ability would be if you got an officer like Mud, say for example, and one of his abilities was he allowed you to when you're raiding to crack through to the other resources like your G- refined G three crystal and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, but you'd have to be raiding with that officer. Uh, I wouldn't personally like that. I personally wouldn't like that. Because if you're spending real money and you've got a great amount, and say like that ability is based on, say like you have like you have two hundred or twenty twenty point nine k of that premium crystal, and he gets like twenty percent of that, uh, you know, that's a lot of coin for a free to play, right? It is, but the the same principle applies with your fucking your parsteel or your tritanium or any of that kind of stuff to be honest with you because uh, yeah you know you, people spend you're not uh, having to, yeah I know but that you can acquire easier than you can say like getting that premium currency yeah I, I don't and that's what I'm saying I don't know if it's a good idea I don't know if I would like it myself but it would certainly fucking stir the thing up wouldn't it yeah damn sure would <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all for stirring the shit up, you know what I mean? Like if the thing starts to become stale and boring, yeah, you, you know, you know what I mean. Like, like I'm reasonably strong, if you like, in in Star Trek Fleet Command by by average. If you take the average player, like because of the length of time I played it and all that, there in this game, 
referring back to what uh, Tech was saying about the name of the Alliance Gimp, I mean, the idea in this was yeah. to be a Gimp, to be lower level, to be that person that has yeah. nothing to lose, um, but, hey, you yeah, know, like, has a big like mouth I, and can go out and annoy people, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, like a certain mobile game that my wife plays. That's what she does. Is she makes a whole bunch of these little counts, and so does her friends that she plays with, and just goes and fucks with the biggest groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yo, <laughs> can't do that in Fleet like, Command. I'll tell you can't that do that in Fleet Command as much. No. Um, another no. thing you'll see in the like of this game that you won't see in Fleet Command is there's a, a proper economy for like it's completely against the terms of service you'd imagine there's a proper economy in selling your accounts mm. yeah i could see that like yeah some people uh, like scopely uh, i look. mean that happens if they come in all the time <laughs> yeah no, it happens but it's gone. very uh, it, 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 it's it's very much on the lowdown, you know. Um, this is like you'll go onto a Discord channel here, for example, and you'll see somebody advertising here. I'm selling this account. You would never get that fleet command link. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, it, it, could somebody report that and get that person banned? I'm sure it. I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure it could, but it it shows the level, I suppose, of a. Uh, or the lack of concern that people have with that if they're willing to go out. They're either very, very stupid or this company does. IGG is the company that's behind this. They, they don't really clamp down on an awful lot. It's it's almost as if, like you were saying, Tech, it reaches a, a certain a certain stage, mobile games or whatever, any games for that matter, they, they reach a certain stage and uh, and it'll, it'll, things will change. Yeah. Um, and it's almost as though this game has reached that point where this company don't really accept it, that this is part of what goes on, you know? And unless there's an official report made, they don't really pay much attention. Well, the other thing is, you have to you have to see it from a, um, from a perspective of what the person's getting, right? So if, if, if this is not Star Trek Fleet Command, for example, which is, again, the most expensive mobile game, where you have to put in like ten thousand dollars or more to be a, a low to mid level player, where you can you know, put maybe like a thousand bucks and you've got a bunch of resources, and so it it would be in IGG's best interest if people sold their accounts so they could keep spending the money. Right. And again, it's up to anybody to you know it's up to the company's own interest to enforce their terms of service associated with selling accounts i've seen a lot of that in final fantasy as well again it was a bannable offense but there was a real when that game was at its peak there was a real proper real life economy in in selling accounts You know, I, I, I don't I, like. I don't know, like, if, if it's possible to, you know, go free to play, for example, grind up an account to level twenty five, and then you know, unlock certain gear, do whatever you're doing, and then sell it for a prop for a decent profit. I don't know if that's possible, or if you actually have to go and spend a load of money on it and then sell your account and just make that money back or take a loss on it. Or I'm not actually sure what way it works here. You know. Like I know, I know. In Final Fantasy, there was no real option to go and spend real money to advance your character. There was a black market economy that was against the terms of service, where you could go and buy the in-game currency from from real money traders. Um, but that was a bannable offence if you if you were found to be engaged in that. Not so much anymore because the game's fucking twenty years old. But um, yeah, these games are slightly different because you put a hundred quid into it, you can advance your account there and then and that's they welcome that you know yeah Mike, Mike Richardson had said in the uh, in the stream earlier that it happens to a lot of games and these type was that you yes that was me alright it happens to a lot of games right 
Jesus. Try hards. Uh, so am I a try hard here? Like, is this is this what I am? Like, yeah. or am I just a troll or what? <laughs> no, I'm saying what. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> you, you know, like that's when you get that you, that toxicity. Is they'll they bring that toxicity with the with the tryhards, you know, and they get the the childish name calling and all that, you know, on people people like you, you know, you don't you don't go for that. You're just in there having a good trying to have a good time, you know, and then they go in there and ruin it for you because of the fact that they don't think it's right that you can, you know. That you're just having fun. They don't realize that. Yeah, I, that's, that's it. What, like, isn't it ironic that his name is Realize? No. Ma- you know, maybe he will re- realize something after this. <laughs> I, I doubt it, though. I doubt it. <laughs> you can always wish, though. So, what we gift to realize is he's getting one power destroyed at a time here. We'll take a wee nosy uh, shortly at, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send a large army down to Pep and give her the, the power to strike because this fucker will attack me sooner rather than later probably and he'll um, he'll get the, the power to strike on the full army. So I'll send her a big chunk. And I'll save a few just. I've fucking done that the wrong way around. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I'll hit her again. Some of these names I recognise, like I see, like there's multiple, like there's Mini Lalu 16, Spaceballs 3, Mini Lalu 17, so Lalu must have, Lalu Laku was the leader of one of the guilds that we merged with, if I remember correct. Um, so Lalu must have like 17 all the counts. There's Lalu 15, Lalu 16, Lalu 17. So Lalu must have like an, a bunch of fucking all the counts here. Like, yeah. um, it's a multiplied. Can you imagine having 17 or 18 fucking accounts in one game, like in the one server? <laughs> Not like complete and utter, you know, but. In, you know. <laughs> That's a lot just to keep up with. <laughs> right. You know, yeah, unless you, unless you know how to, unless you know how to keep your lies straight. Yeah, it gets a little yeah. tough. There's yeah. Tenchi. I mean, Tenchi two. Ten, we shout out to Tenchi. Tenchi is uh, Tenchi was, uh, was cool enough. Ex uh, OG troll boy. I remember there as well. There's not too many other names here that I'm recognizing. So Amrigan, let me ask you because mm. I, you know, again, I, I don't know much about this game, but uh, it seems that you are on and off in this game. But you've been more or less constant with Fleet Command for about four years. Why? Why did you m- devote more time to Fleet Command as opposed to more time to the game? Eh, I got in early and was lucky enough to be hanging out with people that I got on with, who had a, a proper sense of team spirit and f- some people call it family some people call it community identity whatever you want to call it you know when you find a group of like-minded people like if you even take take a take bro cars there for example right bro cars is something <laughs> right right bro cars is something that came along I, I like to think anyway bro cars is something that came along because a group of people from a variety of different servers eventually found each other and they have a yeah. certain sense of humor they, they, they have a certain perspective on things. Um, there, there's very few snowflakes, if any, in there. So it's a wee community, a wee group, a wee family, a wee team, whatever you want to call it, of people there who can hang out together if they so wish. They know it's, you know, If you want to use the fucking snowflakes language and social justice warriors language, it's a safe space for assholes. Right? <laughs> You're allowed to be an yeah. a- an asshole without anybody fucking 
losing the plot on you, right? Um, you can't Shut say. Up, bro. Yeah, so you can't say that about many of the other discords that you'll join or anywhere on fucking um, social media or, or like on any any of these forums. You you can't say that people aren't gonna react badly, act the bollocks, misinterpret things, uh, bring the real life issues and bullshit into a game or into that forum, right? So if you find a group of people that you can hang out with and play a game with who are like minded like that, to me that's that's very valuable. Yeah. To me, you, that's where you build real friendships yeah. and, and things like that. And that that's what made yeah. me stay in Star Trek Fleet Command is I found people like that, and I'm still finding people like that. Um, a game like this, to be yeah, fair, some of them may not play the game no more. You just sit there and bullshit with exactly. Them on a game like this, the only reason I picked this game up is because Pep was playing it and it was another mobile game that I could I could try out and see how it goes. I liked the mechanics of it reasonably well, so I came back to it. Um, there are other mobile games I've tried out and they're just not for me. Um, sometimes you meet people and you realise, you know, they seem like a good group initially and then it turns out they're not and stuff like that there. I liked the idea early in this game. I liked the idea what I was hearing from the group that were called Forsaken Knights. Uh, I liked the idea of what the idea of what they were saying. They were, everything they were saying ticked all the boxes for me. We stand by each other. We stick together. It doesn't matter about your level. It doesn't matter how much money you've spent in the game. It doesn't matter about this here. We're a group of pe people. We're a family, and all of that kind of shit. And what was nice for me was. I didn't have to take on a leadership role. I didn't have to be one of the big hitters. I didn't. There was no responsibility. I could just hang out, and the guys were like, yeah, "Yeah, come on ahead. You know, hang out. You're you're one of the team now. You're one of the guys." And to be fair, those guys that are still around, like uh, Serb and Tenshi and guys like that that are in this guild now, um, as soon as I messaged them guys, they were 100% with me. Like, they were finding Pep's location for me so I could attack her. Like, that's what I was looking for. Like, um, but they were all cool. And even Spaceballs, who's Pep's wee boyfriend there, and, uh, you know, she hangs out with him a lot. Like, um, even Spaceballs gave me her coordinates, <laughs> knowing probably what I was going to do, you know? Um, because they, they appreciated the fact that, you know, I took the piss a little bit and I was acting the bollocks and all of that there. And I was a low level. I wasn't really going to do any damage. There was no animosity in it or no venom and all of that there. That, what's disappointing for me now, like, I'll probably quit this game now. I'll not, I'll not bother going back to it much. Um, what's disappointing for me is that all seems to be gone. You know, the guys that were all together as one group, they, they fractured for some reason. Um, and I wasn't there when it happened, so I don't really know an awful lot about it. But all I can s comment on is how they were when I was there. And everything I was hearing was all about that sense of community and family. And, you know, we're, we'll are we have each other's backs and we'll stick by each other. And, like, and to be fair, the likes of Pep there, she'll still say that, you know, our people stick together and all. I think she's fighting a, fighting a losing battle with these crowd of wankers because I think that this is a crowd of fucking spending arseholes who are just all about power destroyed and whatever else. And I think the only reason why Pep's got... Like, Pep's saying she has no, no say in this guild. Um, if this guild has merged with all that cool group of people that I played with at one other time she should have a say because she's one of the only people that uh, remembers the ethos of what that group was about but I think she's banging her head against the wall talking about that shit uh, anymore because uh, people have short memories you know and I think for the cool ones that are still around I think they've just they've let it go it's water under the bridge now to, you know that old team is fractured and scattered to the four winds some of them don't play anymore Maybe for some it was a failed experiment. Um, you know? It's true, it's all about staying power. Does, does the game hook you in to, uh, to have staying power? Yeah. Not a lot of games. And I, and I say that, I can say that because I don't play many. Or any. <laughs> Except for Fleek. And have you always been like that? Or when you were a young fellow, would you have played uh, and shit? Um, you know, I had uh, the original PlayStation, and I had uh, a couple PlayStation, but I was, I was always, you know, hey, let's go out and play. 
basketball or let's go out and play let's go out and play so I was never yeah you were the type to go out there and play out in the real world versus yeah, yeah it's funny because of it's funny that, yeah, yeah 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 I mean I like like just today I was out with my kid and we're we're just playing baseball I mean he's three years old and he can he can hit the ball pretty well so it's just a matter of make sure he's got that hand eye coordination but that's that's always more fun than you know what have him play the iPad and yeah letter. Or there's a time and a place for that too and there, like hand-eye coordination there and all of that can come in handy and uh, as you grow up like i know for me see see playing online see online gaming for me when i was younger do you see in terms of the words per minute i can type that has seriously for my work now i can type good words per minute now i'm not like i'm not brilliant i'm still using maybe only four to six fingers when i type but it was online gaming that taught me how to type and I can I could now type pretty fast and do pretty well in it because of that. Um, if it wasn't for that, I'd still be two fingers slow as fuck, like you know. <laughs> uh, You'd be still Chinese chopping it, huh? Yeah, but I'm Chinese <laughs> chopping now. If realize is actually a Chinese dude, which he seems to be, I'm you know I'm I'm doing a bit of Chinese chopping now. I'm not very effective at it because I'm a gimp, but um, I see some smoke coming out of his castle. <laughs> And uh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> that uh, so I remember uh, way back when when I was growing up, there was a there was a commercial on, on Nickelodeon. Anybody that's listening knows probably what Nickelodeon is. It's a channel. For yeah, yeah. There was a uh, there was a commercial that I I remember vividly, where it was uh, it starts like first came video games. Then came virtual reality and augmentation of what real, you know, like the real world in a game. But there's something even better. And then the guy, like, gets thrown a basketball and the walls fall down. Like, actual reality. Feel the wind in your hair. <laughs> Feel like, you know, the, like, you know, getting hit if you're trying, trying to go for a layup. I'm like, man, I, I resonate with that. I, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, fucking, that. but like. like it's bad when you're trying to simulate the wind in your fucking hair when you're outside playing like baseball or some shit like just go out and play baseball you know what I mean like fuck yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah but so isn't that the way the world's going like with all this fucking covid shit and everything and everybody's got to be inside now and using technology to communicate and using technology for their entertainment and they're all stuck inside it's, it's turning to the world where it's like you stay inside your little fucking cubicle and simulate fresh air you know rather than go outside and get it yeah sure. that's what sure damn sure sounds seems like anymore all right i gotta bug out for... i'll be right back no bother all right so before I wrap that, I'm, do I'm done with all my troops on this now. Um, when Tech comes back and he's watching, we'll take a wee look at the packs that are available so you guys can tell me what you think. Um, yeah. hmm. So which, uh, I'm surprised that Grim ain't here with us. <laughs> Surprised he's not, right? Oh well. Let me see, what can I say to this guy now? Um So you are you going away? <laughs> No, no, I'll hang on there for a minute. Like, like he can come and he already attacked me earlier. So whatever resources I've got, there's not not, not that great. So he's stolen whatever whatever that I had. Like, um, now what the the insult of it, I suppose, Mike, just to explain that is that uh, I applied to this guild. A lot of my old friends are in this guild. They joined with this guild. Um, one of my real life friends, Pep, is a queen of the entire kingdom which brings certain benefits and certain powers. I think Trollboy is the king, who's a former guildmate as well. So our old guildmates are in a powerful enough position with this guild. Um, the insult of it is that they either are disregarded in terms of being able to say, 
oh, listen, there's an old friend. Let's get him back into the guild. Like, the last time I done this shit, as soon as I arrived back on the server when Corantis and them guys were there, it was like, oh, Amargan's back. Sure. Let's get let's get him back into the guild. Right? That didn't happen. Yeah, I think I remember watching the, the video. Right. That, yeah, that didn't happen this time. Yeah, you, yeah, you had to go at him. You know. You know, you're just to have some fun exactly that didn't happen this time you know, right uh what happened instead is that i was told yeah. even though pep and these friends of mine uh have these powerful positions what i'm being told is they have no say within the guild so the guild owns them it's one of two things the guild owns them and they're bending the knee to these assholes who refuse to take in one of their friends and rejects their friend's application right um, like even if they even if they'd accepted my application, like they they can say something like fucking oh well you have to be active, right? If in three days time or five days time I'm not active, kick me out then. But they just rejected the message. They didn't even have the courtesy to turn around and say, well we actually require you to be at a certain strength. We requ- require you to be camped in a certain place or or whatever. Or, Sorry, we're not taking applications now or any of that kind of shit. Nothing was said. Just a complete rejection, cold shoulder. Nobody even spoke to me. Right, and what the the way that the way I, I I felt was like, I'm a fucking inconvenience to these pricks. This crowd of fucking selfish, self-centered bastards like fucking looking at me like an inconvenience. And the people that I once played with who were cool, they don't have a vice here anymore. And then to add insult to injury, when I I poured it out, went off and found my own place. One of these pricks every fucking day repeatedly attacking me, like traveling across, like there's loads of bases you can attack, traveling across to attack me, find me and attack me repeatedly. Nobody else, I've had a few other attacks, nobody else has done that. And the prick that done that is this dickhead that's been fucking messaging me, this little spa up here that yeah. doesn't know how to fucking even slag somebody off. That coming out with shite saying you have no brain, you have no pl- brain, you know, yeah, you know, big man in his level twenty five castle attacking a level twenty, saying you don't know how to play, you don't know how to play. He's a fucking little asshole, right? And what's insulting to me is that my like I I don't know many of these people in real life, but what's insulting to me is and, and like listen. I can get over it. I'm not going to bother playing with this game because of the bullshit that I've seen in the last couple of days. But um, yeah. it is typical human nature. Like people are always going to be self-centered and out for themselves. But um, yeah. but I'm pretty sure in most of the people that I've encountered, right, it, most of the people I've encountered in Star Trek Fleet Command, if I had played with them at one time and I was away for a year and I came back, if they remembered me. Yeah which these guys did when they messaged me, uh, it would be like, oh, let's get you back in. Let's get you back in. Let's find a space. Oh, shit, we're full. Will you will you be about till we, if we can find a space? Like, shit, I've seen guys in Star Trek Fleet Command when they had a level 72 fucking guild. We pumped all of our resources into this fucking level 72 guild, pumped them to high heaven, and we were full. But we had a couple of fucking inactive accounts. One of the guys had, had a difficulty when our first merge happened. That He was in the guild, but he wasn't in the guild. There's all sorts of stupid problems with that. A couple of players suffered that. But um, we reformed the whole fucking guild to get him back. And he wasn't even the most active player. But the whole guild was reformed and jumped over to get him back because he was an OG. He was there. He was one of us at the start. This guy isn't even that active. But that's the sort of gestures I, I've seen uh, with the group of people I play with in Star Trek Fleet Command here people yeah. don't even want to sp- they either don't want to speak up or they don't care and like I say a couple of these people are cool enough but even Pep who I know in real life who's been on my discord as a moderator for fucking ages who I've played this game with numerous times even Pep feels like she hasn't got a fucking voice and she's saying these are cool people I have news for Pep they're a fucking crowd of assholes and that fucking Dick, dickhead there is a is one of the leaders of this guild and he's the fucking evidence of it nice. oh who's this here tic tac this is a big there's a big fancy castle I might create just a let me see you might attack him for a laugh so let's let's take a look at the packs and and uh, we we'll take a look at the pack hold on we see what this uh, this this idiot has said to me hold on I was watching a monkey who had lost IQ attacking the castle and seeing how patient it was, it turned out to be completely useless. So I'm a monkey now, you fucking mong. Please continue to cheer, I am playing other games. Wow. What a fucking ass. <laughs> He's a fucking mong, hold on, hold on. Something there. Uh, uh.
<laughs> Jesus Christ, like. Oh, I think I said on monkey instead of monkey. Nah, oh, fuck. Anyway, typos. We'll deal with them. Um, what do you, we want to see the packs? Are you speaking? Hi. <laughs> Maybe I should start speaking them in Irish. See if the see if the auto translate will uh, will translate Irish. Will it? <laughs> Hello, on, hello, on, well, I thought you didn't. You, your Irish wasn't that great, but you're. Or are you gonna have your daughter do it? No, no, no. I mean, my Irish is reasonable. It's just not fucking top notch. Like, um. Yeah. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. I'm assuming he can hit the translate button, right? I'm I'm wondering actually will it even translate Irish? <laughs> ah, I'm for assuming fuck that's Gaelic, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, he sent a message, didn't he? <laughs> uh, it's, it's like, it's a bit t tame though. Like, at least if you're going to be abusing somebody, like, at least try to be fucking funny about it. Like, I wonder, does that, will that translate? Oh, yeah, there we go. It, fair play to AGG. They've got fucking Irish translations in the whole lot. That's probably just, uh, hmm, that wouldn't be an outside client doing that. That would be in the game, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be one of the bots that they have for tied to the game, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I'm impressed with that. We... <laughs> we bull a bus. We... <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you how many people I had to help in Spanish and in the fleet command because they either they were on the wrong server or they were just like they're completely clueless. When you think about it, like with the amount of money that them fuckers are making and a company like this who aren't probably are, are making a fraction of it, they can have that in their game, like. Yeah. I yeah, I mean, can you can you imagine, right? Because like, uh, I think I at least help maybe like si at least six or seven people in Spanish because nobody yeah, yeah. understand them. And to for be whatever, fair, whatever, like, to, like this guy was ma was say, talking shit earlier about get somebody Chinese to translate because this translate doesn't work too well. Like Irish, Irish is a very very in terms of percentage amount of people that speak it in the world. It's a very tiny percentage, you know. Um, that's perfect translation there. That's a perfect translation. Like, I, I mean, I, I can't fault that translation one bit. Oh. Well, how how similar is it in sentence structure to English? Completely the other way around. Like, no relation oh. to English at all. Like, what I'm saying there, when I say on will in Gael, like, that's... That, that's, like, that's, that, that's no relation to English at all. It can't even be... You know, no, that needs a full-on fucking proper tran translation effort. Like, you know, there's no. I I'm impressed with that. Seriously, I'm seriously impressed with that. Yeah, but you have this realize it says it's a bad translator. It's not. Bad. Now the what? Yeah, the one thing I would say is wrong about that translation is I didn't say please. Well, yeah. kind of. Let a hull is kind of please. But it's it's not exactly in like in Irish it's not exactly that. Um, but but if you take please as the translation of let a hull, let a hull's at the end of the sentence, but it's at the start of the sentence in English. There, that's correct. Like that's the way it should be. Um, 
it's completely back the, back the front. Like when you talk Irish, most of what you say is back the front to English. Hmm. Okay. All right, makes, it's kind of like Japanese, I guess. Right, I don't know much Japanese. Ah, well. Oh, look at... Are you an anime watcher? Please speak Chinese, monkey. <laughs> yeah, so these are Pep's friends. I hope Pep is watching. Um, these are the sort of friends she's hanging out with. Let me screenshot that shit. Where the fuck is the screenshot option? Um, there are you it on is. A PC? Yeah, no, I have it. Print screen. I, I could do the print screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Print screen and Microsoft Paint. That that's the yeah go. that's the way that they do it. Like, but um, but BlueStacks will give it will automatically screenshot it and put it on the desktop for you if you if you assign it to the desktop. I'm just saying, for for all the things that I've ever had to do in school, college, work, whatever, print screen Microsoft Word has served me better than almost any other software in the world. <laughs> it is so simple to use. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I I used to I used to do so many things in uh, Microsoft Paint. Monkey. Mm. Now, what? No, he doesn't know. Like, I could be black. He takes serious offense at that. Like, <laughs> well, I, I don't think he, he cares. I don't think he cares. It just sounds like an immature little kid, to be honest with you. Well, if he's using monkey as an insult, I mean. Yeah, little twat. Right, let me see. Pax, you want to see Pax? Um, sure, let's go through some Pax. There's a lot of shit that try to flog you here. Um, let me see. We'll go up here first, see what they're offering here. Right, so first purchase, like, uh, I haven't bought anything here, obviously. So for one, uh, one euro nine cent, I get an initial booster pack. That's that. That's not a bad wee booster pack if you're starting out for for one dollar, say. For a euro, yeah, yeah, you're looking at like two bucks. That's that's not bad. That's not bad, right? So that'd be the equivalency of a thousand latinum and a bunch of speed ups, right? Um. Okay. That's very reasonable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably translates to about ninety nine cents in in U.S. terms. It's a U.S. based company. Now, here's one of the things where it'll catch you. A growth investment. So if I buy growth investment for 10, uh, 10 euros, 99 cent, 11 euros, I can claim all of these fucking things as I uh, level up my castle. But I have to buy growth investment first. But that's a sizable amount of crystals to be buying as I level up. Uh, newbie value pack. There's another 1 euro, 9 cent. Now, loads of resources. Is it progressive? Do you know? Um, Do you know if this is progressive? I don't think it's progressive in the way that uh, Star Trek Fleet Command is because I can still go there and buy the the hundred euro pack you know, I, Wh without I mean, having it. without having bought before. In terms of as they get stronger, is there more available? Or or if you buy it, do the do the euro packs? The single euro packs do they disappear? Not actually sure, to be honest with you. Um, I'd imagine the, the the newbie packs do. Now here's an interesting one: pack customization. I can customize, can customize my own pack, what I want to buy in it. Interesting. Interesting. And I have three slots in that, and it'll tally up what it is I'm buying. 
want to go to legendary and get five slots buy all the top shit and that's still only 54 quid there that's not, that's not bad that's not bad and I, I'd imagine the likes of that pack customization I can do that as many times as I want so yeah so this just gives credence to the fact that Star Trek Fleet Command is the most expensive mobile game in the history of mobile and they and they don't even know how to sell you their product properly yeah well, they, they don't have to because Star Trek does it for you. Yeah. Uh, another thing very interesting is that live support. If I click on that live support now, I'll get straight through to a live customer support operative. You mean you mean you won't get this stupid tiered message saying, thank you for your no. patience. We will no. get back to you. I'll get I, I, I tested this one night. Um, I think I'd done a video on it when I was comparing Star Trek Fleet Command to, to another game. And I think I used this as an example. Um, where I, I, I went straight in and I was like testing basically to see is this going to be an automated response or this person going to actually deal with the, the concern or the issue that I've got there and then very friendly very willing I think I confused them a little bit because it was like no listen I only wanted to come in and tell you how great you saw her and blah 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 you know but um, they were kind of go, probably scratching their heads going who's this fucking madman fucking messaging me about crazy shit like but um Dude, every time I'm talking to you, you're in ordering food somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He's just about, about as me with food, isn't he? Hey, hey man, I got I got kids to feed, all right? They, yeah. They gotta, they gotta eat. <laughs> and, and not to mention, when you're talking to me, it's my nighttime, and you're like, you know, 2.30 in the morning time. Yeah, well, that reminds me, I need to go to bed soon. Um... Oh, but after you've done live streaming, I want Yeah, how long have we been on now? Um, live is an hour, hour ten almost. Yeah, about an hour ten. And you still got five steadily watching. A fair play to them five, wherever they are. Can I research any of this? I haven't tried this yet. Oh, that's, you've had hmm. seven, so you've I bet you had seven. Oh, there's six now. So you've been jumping between five and seven. Oh, that other one just left. See, when I when I li when I stop talking, you get nothing. <laughs> hey, that's what it is, Tech. It's all it's all for you. And as a reminder, there, uh, I don't know, Tech, if you're if you're able to um, stick up a link, but uh, check out Tech's uh, podcast. Um, we do a lot of Star Trek content, and we've done uh, I've done a podcast with the guys uh, on Star Trek Discovery and things like that. So if you haven't discovered Tech's podcast already, check it out. And if you can, Tech, stick a link there in the yeah. chat before we finish up. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do about that. I. In, uh, or Mike, if you can find one, if, if you can find one, yeah, stick it up either. He's got a link. You've got a link in. Uh... And a shout out to Dark Empress of Doom. Just uh, after waving, there's one of the steady five there. So before I finish up, what I'll do is I'll actually play a wee bit of this game, and um, the sort of st solo kind of stuff that you can do. I'll give you a wee look at that. Collect yeah, some of my resources the first. Came over from, she's one yeah. of the ones that came over from my, uh, my... Oh, is that MP? Yeah, that's... Ah, right, okay, I have you now. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't gave her a link for your Discord. You want me to send a link? If you have it handy there, make stick it up, surely. Yeah, I'll bring up Discord and invite her over. And uh, I guess if you want, uh, Mike, if you still got the time, if you want to find my uh, my YouTube page and stick it up there too. Uh, I've already did that in his uh, stream. Okay. Oh, okay, perfect. I haven't seen it pop up in the stream <laughs> I don't yet. Know if it went through. I'm, well, I don't know if it's gone through because I'm buffering really bad over there, and I don't know why. Right, right. <laughs> Same reason why I haven't. Oh, dude, do you remember back when the internet was first starting up? Oh, I remember and, it well. Uh, we fucking dial up. 
were making fun of like you know you got a you got a buffer you know if you want to download porn you gotta you gotta wait till it's buffering before the next scene hits or whatever see see <laughs> uh, see you're still quite young there there tech like you like you you grew up in an age where you could download porn like i remember i remember the only way to get porn was like on a vhs cassette like <laughs> dude I, hey, 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 i'm not i'm not that i'm not that oh, young see. per se but but yeah, VHS. Minor, keep, it, keep the mind in a minor. Um, so yeah, so she won't know, won't, like won't understand our, what a VHS cassette is. No, no. In our in our in my high school, we had like a, a, a like a VHS cassette kind of like porn ring, I guess, where people would bring their various cassette, you know, VHS tapes, and then you, you and swap it. You pay to rent. <laughs> no, you you actually pay to rent it. Like, oh God. And, and there was like it was kind of like li- library overdue fees and stuff, and it got quite expensive actually. You know, um, I wasn't really part of it, but I helped facilitate a couple of people, and it was something like crazy. It was like it's like the the first three days were like ten bucks, and then it was like a dollar for day after that. So Fuck like, sake! It was, it, was it was a proper wee business, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> it was it was kind of intense like and people were competing for like all sorts of weird uh you know genres you know I'll, I'll be politically correct about it there were various genres and and you go to that certain individual for a certain type of genre that you want uh yeah and, and then you know when when dial up came by um, and we were we were, were all like it's not let me invite her over it's not giving me, I go to inviter and it's not giving me the GG code. Because you're not an administrator or something. Yeah, I know. All I am is a server booster. <laughs> but it gives me a lot of That's access. It. So. <laughs> yeah. Nitro boost. Good, good God. Nitro boosting. I'm like uh, as old as Amergen, um, uh, Discord is I'm the only one that's boosted it. <laughs> You're the only agent uh, that fucking right. thinks that it's uh, you need to spend money on it. I, I don't even do that. <laughs> oh, me and Grim have fun playing with that background shit though. So, because <laughs> we gotta make custom emotes and you know, eventually we would like to get it up there to where we could have the the special logo on your the on your uh on your discord the picture shit what's that now that you can make custom emojis i think oh right yeah 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 oh god damn it i should do that with uh i'm on the stargate sg1 discord and i don't think it's been nitro boosted so there's plenty of uh Oh, of. that's just like verts. Verts, nobody except for there's very few people over there that. No, oh, this court is fun. It's it's connected me to all sorts of communities that I've visited in the past when they used to be on IRC, and now they've migrated kind of to Discord. Yeah, yeah. Interesting thing about this mobile real game is a uh, very like there are some communities that have used Discord, but they don't seem to be fond of it. It's all this line up. Are you familiar with Line? Yeah, yes. I know what Line is. The, like oh, like uh, from what I've heard, the security on Line is is a uh, is shabby enough. Um, but that's where they use it. Like it, it, it's uh, probably Chinese based or something like that. Is it? Yeah. It is. Um, you gonna put her in sound enough or what? Cause she'd arrive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do that, Mike? No. I don't. Have, no. I yeah, I'll do. I'll do that when I finish the stream, if that's all right. Yeah. Okay. So that fella keeps uh, keeps calling me a monkey. Um. <laughs> I, I I I told him he, he was live on YouTube with his insults, and he was like, yeah, "Is the Monkey Show? Send me the URL so we can watch the Monkey Show." Oh my god! <laughs> Is that your um? Did did you get the uh? You see the what link you... for you now up there? 
trying to check, Mayor. Uh, let me check. I, I had to. I'm driving, so. Oh, oh yeah, you're getting food. <laughs> so right. you don't necessarily have to play multiplayer. You can play single player. You can. There's just benefits to being in a guild that you don't get if you're oh, solo. Saying, like, you don't have to go out there and PvP. You can just strictly P PvE. Oh, it's like any game. Like, there's always the P if there's a PvE option, you can just do that. Um. But you know you need yeah, the, you need the raid and shit to to get real resources and stuff you know. Oh man, we're down so it, to two people now. I'll walk away for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I think it's just, I it, think it's just it, us it was two. Mike. Porn talk, wasn't it? <laughs> must, must have been. <laughs> yeah, it's frighten them away. Bear in mind as well, like sometimes the YouTube fucking AI isn't uh, spot on either. Like you know, I I've seen I've seen crazy things happen on YouTube at times. Like I remember one night I was streaming. I was actually streaming from the PlayStation, and I I got like fucking seventy people viewing, and then uh, and uh, those views remain for a little while, and then all of a sudden they were gone. Um, sometimes it like, it's just it's fucking fake accounts and shit like that there and sometimes it doesn't update properly or quick enough or all sorts of shit goes on with it it's far, far from uh, perfect alright gang I'm going to have to jump off because I'm, I'm at home and family needs to no eat. bother tech giving you a wee bit of food for right. thought in terms of how that thing works with its packs and shit we'll talk about that again <laughs> food, food for thought good, uh, good segue Mm. Get it? <laughs> I get it. You're off for some food. Yeah. Right. Listen. Thanks for joining me. Have a have a good Valentine's with the missus. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, everybody, make sure to wear your masks. And then when when it's available, get your vaccine. And that's coming from a man who knows his shit. That's coming from a drug dealer. Yeah, a, 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 a legal, a legal one. <laughs> uh, right, that's right. Yeah, me and me and my homeboys at the Department of uh, Justice are 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 good buddies. <laughs> All right, gang. Uh oh. All right, tech. Until next time. Talk to you later, dude. Hey, Sphere. Oh, who's that? Oh crap! She joined us. Impy joined us. How you doing, Impy? <laughs> We're just getting joined. We're just getting ready to finish up shortly now, but we'll hang on for a couple of minutes. Yeah, hi. I'm about to leave because I just got food for the family, but nice to meet you. <laughs> so are you still, are you still at the Minecraft with Mike, Empey? Yeah, they've been doing that while we've been over here. How's the block going now? Is it... Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We got rid of the one that was causing the issue. Right, so it's picked up a wee bit. Started and yeah, it picked up quite a bit actually. On average, we're getting about ten players. Oh, very good. Well, I tell you, if there's anybody listening that um, has an interest in Minecraft as well, um, make if you want to stick up your the link to your Discord there, work away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I've been kind of, you know, I want to get to know them and stuff, but yeah, I'll send, send an invite. Yeah, well, they, they just don't invite them in straight away, but if, if they turn out to be an asshole, you can always kick them, you know? Yeah. You know. See, it's doing the same damn thing here. It's not letting you post a link, yeah. is it not? Oh, no, it's doing the same thing it was doing with yours, even though I'm the owner of that channel. It's being silly. Why is it not? Why is it not letting me grab the link? It's just giving me the... There we go.
go. I got it now. There we go. There we go. I got it. You're still there? Oh, I'm still here. Okay, you just went quiet. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start finish up the stream now very shortly. Um Fuck Mobile Royale Fuck this guild Fuck Realize Little prick calling people monkeys and fucking slagging people off Good kick in the bollocks Good fucking Glasgow kiss big headbutt in their fucking nose crack the little bastard's fucking nose for him for his fucking abuse uh, crowd of fucking assholes. So if there's anybody watching this that's in Taiwan number one that thinks that these are nice people, you're fucking wrong. You're fucking harboring little fucking abusive pricks and dickheads and I'd knock the shit out of the little bastard if I got my fucking hands on him. And that's what I have to say about Mobile Royale. Piece of fucking shit. Some of the mechanics is alright, but their community are fucking shitheads, some of them. And little Gimp Amergan is going to sit there in his level 20 castle. And until I delete this game from Bluestacks, I'll be a nuisance to some of these pricks until then. And Mike, I want to thank you for coming coming in here and uh, having the crack with us at short notice. I was going to I was going to do a bit of recording on this, you know, I was going to do a bit of recording, take the piss that way or whatever. But I decided before we go to bed, sure, I haven't done a live stream in a while, do a wee bit of a live stream, why not? Yeah. Well, you know what I would have done if you would have done it on, uh, on, uh... What would you have done? On freaking... Oh, I've actually got the money to subscribe to your channel. Now. All right, fuck you that. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that available on the... No fucking way, no. It's not for the money, Mike. You know that this long time. Yeah, I know. But it's just free to go have a pint on or whatever. Yeah, well, sure, maybe when this lockdown's over, we might hook up and go for a pint in reality. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know last, after last night, good lord, I got nice and toasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I'm going to end the stream. Thanks to anybody that was hanging out. Don't forget to check out Tech's podcast and Mike's channel if you're interested in Star Trek-related stuff or in Minecraft-related stuff. And until the next time, look after yourselves and look after each other.